sandy beaches, clear waters and a geopark. We're taking on five great co-steering routes in Hong Kong and this is Drone and Foam. Well, it's last in our co-steering series. Jack, what are we doing today? Yeah, we're going to start Pylon 1, then we end up at the east end of Highland Reservoir. And thanks to Kailas, who saw us without helmets, and they sent us some to keep us safe. Now, some of you may have seen our first edition. We were looking for someone to replace Jack. Well, that person has arrived. Finally. <laughs> Hi, and I'm George. This is George. <laughs> he will be with us today. We'll have more from him later. But for now, let's get going. Co-steering is an activity that combines hiking, climbing and swimming to move along a rocky coastline. With warm waters and more than 1,000 kilometres of seashore, Hong Kong is the perfect location for the emerging sport. We've chosen five routes for all levels of outdoor enthusiasts who want to give it a go. In this episode, we're taking on what is arguably Hong Kong's best co-steering route, the epic slabs of volcanic rock at the UNESCO Global Geopark, meet the clear warm waters of Sai Kung. After a short hike down from the Makohos Trail, we started at the small beach at Pak Lap One and made our way along the rocks. Just a few hundred metres in and George, our new drone and foam presenter, is having second thoughts. I have started thinking why I apply for this post. <laughs> Meanwhile, Jack, waiting in the water below, has some sound advice. It's within three months. You can quit, yeah? <laughs> I can leave immediately. <laughs> jump, George, jump, jump. What? Yeah. Jump, oh, three. One, two, one, two, three. <laughs> The first section is pretty straightforward along the rocks, with the occasional short swim taking you between the rock formations. The highlight for this section is a swim through a small sea arch with shoals of fish below. What can you see, George? A lot of fish! <laughs> At the next bay, you can save a lot of time by swimming across if the sea is not too rough. It takes about 15 minutes to get across the open water if you are a reasonable swimmer. If not... This is my last drawing for my episode. <laughs> oh, I think you forgot my helmet. There is it. Oh, shit! Yeah. George made it across the bay. Uh, 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 this episode is drawing. <laughs> and we set off along the next section, climbing, swimming and jumping as we went. Well, we're about halfway round and so far so good. Beautiful blue, blue water, lots of fish and things to see. Great rocks to scramble on. How's it been for you, George? I almost died there. Yeah, says he almost died. Over dramatic youth. Anyway, Jack, how's it been for you? <laughs> this is the best, best rock formation you could find in Hong Kong. Yeah, it's the Geo Park. It is absolutely stunning. We forgot to give a quick shout out to Kailas. Thank you for giving us some clothes, some helmets, some great shoes for co-steering. Really, really good gear for that stuff. Been using Live Store and of course Huawei for the P30. Thanks for lending us that for these episodes. Right, halfway round. Let's go. Halfway to go. Let's go. Let's go. The highlight of the second half is two large caves, one of which you swim in, plus some great high jumps off the steep cliffs that back up against the warm waters. George was starting to get the hang of it with some wisdom from Jack. Three the rocks. Meanwhile, I was struggling a little with an ongoing injury. So one of the things that happens with nature as you get older, so the bones start to go. As you can see, I'm wearing a bandage today. That's from a bit of a strain on one of my previous co-steering adventures. But the good news is that sort of slows me down a little bit to let the younger guys catch up. Nature's way of evening things out. There are two ways to get out and up to the High Island Reservoir Dam. Either a co-steer around to Po Pin Chow, or as we did, a cutoff from the previous bay. Unfortunately for Jack, it was a well-worn path. No bushwhacking today, Jack. Despondent. Very despondent. On your last drone and phone. Last drone and phone. I don't give him one bushwhack. 
<laughs> it's just not right. The path brings you to the lower dam from where it's a road walk up to the east dam and a place to get a ride out. Well, that's the end of this adventure. It's the end of our co-steering series. George, how was it for you? Uh, I almost dead. Yeah. <laughs> Jack. Um, this is not for beginners, so uh, it's our fault we brought him over. But if you like uh, coast here and all that, it's a must go. And this is the last show for Jack. We're sorry to see him go. He's going to be carrying on with some of our event coverage. Jack, where can they find you though? You're not gone. You've just gone somewhere else. <laughs> OK, turn left. OK, turn left. If you look up OK, turn left on Facebook and on YouTube, you'll find Jack doing his own show. Again, really big thanks to Kailas, to Huawei for the phone. And of course, also to Sea Log, Sea Log, who gave us the bags, the waterproof bags. We couldn't have done without them. Yeah. My name's DJ Clark. I'm George. I'm Jack. And this, this is Drone and Ball. <laughs>